a small stream rod. Do you need a disc drag or is a click Paul reel better? What does a reel actually do and what type of drag do you need? Stay tuned and we'll talk about it. So when we're looking at fly reels, a lot comes down to the type of fishing you're doing and the type of fish you fish for. Realistically, when we're looking at small stream rods, we're looking at usually three weights, maybe four weight and under. And when we're talking about target quarry of trout and other panfish and bass, realistically, because your rod is a softer, nice dampening rod, for these types of fish. A click pull reel does a great job in letting you manage your line, but also being inexpensive and simple and reliable to the point where you really don't need it too often. It holds line, doesn't mean that it's not a great bit of tool in case you do hook a 16 or 18 inch fish in small water, but a click and pull reel does a great job in balancing your outfit and can usually last longer than the actual angler itself. But what happens if you're somebody who by chance will encounter big fish? A reel of the same size, for example, these both are reels that go on my one and two weights, can be found very easily with a drag. Are drags necessary? Probably most of the time, no, on these small rods. But sometimes if I'm fishing water that I know I can encounter big fish and I need to slow runs based on the water itself, not based on the size of the fish, because you can do that <clears throat> by palming, you know, a, a click and pull reel. But sometimes knowing that you have the ability to slow a fish with one hand, like so, and being able to navigate the creek or navigate the water or handling your net if need be, <clears throat> is nice. These are usually more expensive gram for gram whenever you're fishing, if you buy the same reel in the same style, but one has a drag and one doesn't. But it's hard to find really small, small creek, small rod, click and pull reels or for inexpensive cost. That being said, there are options. I'll link a few down below, as well as a few really good disc drag reels that are budget friendly down below as well in that class. Drags are more important when you step your game up though when you're fighting big game fish like steelhead, muskie, salmon, uh, and anything in the salt. When you're fishing in the salt, you, are, you have to slow runs because you still have to use lighter-ish tippet and you need the very smooth and subtle drag inertia the uh, or lack thereof rather and the smooth drag transition from a run to slowing the shoulders of the fish a good reel with a good smooth drag is very important in the salt but if you're using an eight weight for bass you probably don't need it you can get away with a click pull or a, even I would argue a 12 weight or a, or a 10 weight for muskie would be fine to hand re line a muskie in, as long as your rod is a mid flex, full flex rod. Very fast rods don't offer the same tippet protection, and so getting a fish on the reel is important. One thing I have to say is if I know that I typically ha are going to put a fish on a reel, I opt for a drag reel that has a, um, a, a, a smooth one way. Because what I can do then is if I've got the, the, the reel on and I want to, and, I'm, and I've pinched my line, I can hit the reel like this and bring in uh, line pretty quickly. If I do the same thing with a click and pull reel, typically it doesn't free spool. And so I have to reel all that line back up, which can be much slower, like by doing this the whole time. You've seen anglers, especially on... Um, YouTube will be reeling, 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 
It's not ideal, but sometimes a quick flick will bring a bunch of line up all at once, and that allows me to keep looking around to make sure I'm not going to fall or hurt myself. Do you need a drag, or can you get away with a click paw? Typically, I would just suggest you try one, give it a shot from both camps, and see which you like. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Just something different I thought I'd talk about because I'm going through that process right now by outfitting my one weights and my two weights. Hopefully you guys did like the video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the merch. I have a whole bunch of stuff dropping all the time. Check out the links below. Some of them help me, some of them don't. But I just wanted to kind of talk about some things with you. And also, uh, you know, as it's negative five degrees and we're getting eight inches of snow right now, probably not the wisest for me to be on the water. So I still wanted to reach out and talk to you guys a little bit. Until next time, guys, catch you guys on the flip side. Tight lines, and we're out.